Hi everyone, and welcome to my video. So today I will be focusing on the art form of music and how this can be incorporated with technology to make for the most optimal learning environment. To get started, we will look at the meaning of music and the benefits of incorporating music into education. So researchers suggest that when looking at the arts, music education and participation is the most extensively studied topic. Um, not only, but is it it is also the most universally offered form of the arts, as it is available in 90% of public schools nationwide. Um, studies also suggest that music assists in optimal brain development, and through music, children can acquire discipline, the ability to manage stress, cooperation, knowledge about their culture, and the culture of others, and ways to healthily express their emotions. So essentially, through research, um, it is quite known that there are several positive benefits and aspects of incorporating music into the classroom. So with that idea, um, there are different ways that music can be incorporated into the classroom. Um, there are several, as mentioned, several. Um, so for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to go over a couple. Um, but what I would like to stress is that when incorporating music into the classroom, it does not need to be a complex idea. Um, it can be very simple. So putting music on during transition time would be a very simple sort of aspect to implicate um, to implement that into the classroom. So um, even just using it as a timer to get children kind of prepared for their next activity would be a great way to put to um, to incorporate music into the classroom. Uh, secondly, um, you can implement music into the classroom by maybe allowing children to quietly and independently sit and listen to music. So perhaps putting um, headphones into a quiet, quiet corner or cozy area um, and maybe an iPad that allows them to sit there and, and sort of just relax and chill out um, as, they, as they listen to music. Um, another option would be perhaps putting instruments into the dramatic play center, um, allowing children to kind of experiment with the music, perhaps engage with others, maybe put on, you know, like a rock concert or something, something along those, those lines, um, allowing them to kind of, uh, to kind of play around and experience different instruments and the sounds that they make and things like that. Um, and then lastly, even just putting on sort of a free dance or a free sing, uh, maybe at the beginning of the day to kind of get the sillies out or the end of the day to kind of, you know, wind down before home. Um, anything such as that, uh, children love. They love to kind of just experience that that aspect and be free within the classroom um, while still engaging with their peers. So now that we have kind of a basic understanding of the positive benefits of music and how this can be implemented into the classroom, I would like to discuss the idea of incorporating technology and music into the classroom. So based on research presented, it is apparent that combining the use of technologies and music within the classroom is very beneficial to children's learning. Studies suggest that musical learning is significantly improved when the use of technologies is implemented. So furthermore, it is noted that when the correct technologies are chosen, they can really enhance children's learning of music. As researchers suggest incorporating music and technology can inspire, imag can inspire imagination, encourage problem solving and critical thinking. So um, as we've kind of discussed in previous weeks within this course, uh, the idea of, you know, kind of looking at ICT tools as um, enhancements, but also ensuring that you know sort of the correct procedure, you're kind of well versed in terms of technology um, and looking at those apps as educational pieces rather than just games and um, ensuring that it's the correct sort of uh, educational piece and that you're combining it in the most beneficial way um, when when combining technology and music together. So um, not only does research display positive benefits of incorporating technologies and music into the classroom, but there are several connections to pedagogy that can be made as well. So for example, when looking at the How Does Learning Happen document, um, you, music and technologies can connect directly to the fourth frame of fostering communication and expression because as children explore music they communicate they express themselves perhaps dancing singing performing even uh, while using various ICT tools so um, secondly utilizing music and technologies connects to several domains within elect so uh, some some of those domains are physical social cognitive um, 
Some examples of that would be, you know, utilizing gross motor skills when moving to music, um, you know, using music as a form of com uh, communication or expression when engaging with their peers. And lastly, uh, with cognition, sort of using music as, uh, as an idea of present or sorry, as a form of presenting ideas. So looking at, um, as, at how that can be presented. Um, and there are several connections to pedagogy within the kindergarten document as well when looking at music and technologies within the classroom. So those connections would include um, kind of expressing responses to music by moving or making connections to their own experiences in the real world, uh, things like that. So um, throughout this video, we have discussed uh, the importance of of music in the classroom. Um, we've discussed sort of ways that that can be implemented. Then we looked at the importance of music and technologies um, and, and integrating those um, and kind of the research as to how that would be positive and beneficial for children. So the last area that I would like to go over in this video would be the devices, the types of devices that can be used when incorporating technology and music into the classroom. Um, within uh, future videos kind of throughout the lesson this week, uh, we will be discussing other various ICT tools that can be utilized when looking at music and, um, and the classroom. But I did want to go over sort of this piece of the devices just so that everyone Everyone has a basic understanding as to um, kind of what is needed to to use ICT tools and it, when incorporating music and um, technology into the classroom. So um, among many, uh, some of the suggestions that I had come up with were an iPad or an iPhone. So any kind of tablet, essentially anything that is touchable um, that children can utilize. A smart board, which is a great one for um, kind of collaborative or group activities, uh, even, you know, as a whole class. Um, a computer or uh, even a camera. So the camera would be um, or video video recorder, which could be utilized, you know, um, to, if you wanted to host a talent show and the children were going to be recorded or, um, you know, that you wanted to take pictures even to just document their learning as they are uh, connecting with, um, with music and technology. Um, so that concludes my video. I hope that everyone enjoyed it and learned a lot. Thank you very much for watching.